Hi, after taking about 16 Vicodin and drinking 10 liters of pure vodka to cover up my eye pain, we continue the journey of covering every single four color pulsing arrow gameplay level. Wow, let's just start with legal slavery. Great, my favorite topic. Antique circles is a bleak reminder of what people in the 1900s have to live with. Seeing everything in the brown white color palette. God, that must have sucked. Jesus Christ, how would anyone have separated the French and the Dutch flags then? Logistics aside, this is an awful Nine Circles level. Besides some of the non-wave parts having unique designs, the rest of the entire everything just is steaming garbage. There's really nothing much that I like about this. Also, this level got updated in 2.0, adding these moving pillars to the background, which is just the best reason to update a nice circles level. I don't know how this plays, but I assume the worst for my level that has these kinds of UFO parts between the waves. I'm only placing this level into the E tier because it has things, but not many of those things are good. So yeah, at least the first click is good. Nine Circles 12 is barely a medium demon. The pre-drop is the only part with gameplay in it. The rest is about as much of a blur as vibration is for some unflinching folk. The wave part has a unique effect for when it came out, but the first person to catch malaria was also original. So no medal for you, Nine Circles 12. Aside from that, the level has glass breaking effects that are so realistic that it made me buy a second phone. God damn it, Rustam. He made really one of the nice circles levels all the time as well, especially with this pre-drop. What is this ball part even doing here? Still, it has some gameplay here and there, and maybe some of it could be passed as decent, though the first jump, of course, ruins any chance of this going anywhere above the halfway point on the tier list. D tier. I do think this level is really making me feel like coming out of the closet. Oh, wait. Ultimate Circles does not live up to the hype. Thankfully, no nice circles level does so this still kind of works in that way this is a mashup of a lot of older nine circles levels decoration styles also known as the level swaps its colors every so often there's really nothing else to it though the waves are creative and kind of fun looking the gameplay leaves a lot to be desired even more concerning is the leftist propaganda that these parts are composed of those goddamn liberals with their skibbity toilets and sussy vacas i only listen to real rap like mcdonald's and Kids rock! C tier propaganda! I really prefer the times when we didn't care about this equality bullshit. Oh wow, that's great timing. Nacho21 went back in time and asked somebody in the 1700s what taking copious amounts of Eker Hacker version 2 could do to a man. His reaction was this error themed epilepsy attack for some reason, I don't know why. Besides the colors matching the inside of my nose during flu season, Retro Circles brings a fresh take to their very, very still Nine Circles trend. With it not moving every so often and also having blending white bars moving over the screen sometimes because that's cool I guess. Yes, these parts, no other parts, just this part, these parts, yeah. What great innovations bring to the table is often more puberty, which this level shows up with its lacking energy and weird feeling gameplay in places. Still, I do respect the risks taken in this green ass level. B tier. But I figure, this level could still be more retro. Ah, black and white, just how I like it. Besides my nostalgic feeling of dinosaurs, invisible light is once again made by a chip. Or crisp if you're a f***ing weirdo. Seeing nothing is an afterthought, but in spite of that, this level still keeps the tradition of epilepsy very much alive. Fading blocks aside, there is nothing much special going on here. This truly is one of those levels that just exists for the gimmick and nothing else really. Still, it's a pretty solid looking Nine Circles level with some very funky ideas and decent enough gameplay thrown in there to cover up its shallow ass interior. C tier. Thankfully, we don't have deep fried shit coming up. Do you want to be a fan? Well, no. Yes? No. Do you want to be an enjoyer? Man, no. Also, yes? Well, do I have the sweaty guy. dude conference for you? Introducing the Eker Hacker version 2 fan club discord server. The best way not to get laid. Meet people that also have severe brain trauma, such as a bunch of my personal friends who I hired as janitors just to make it seem like I know how to build a company. On top of that, you can see exactly when I upload my next project on YouTube or maybe even a rare seal stream. Only in the Eker Hacker version 2 fan club. Use all of the most famous seals to make people feel insecure about their achievements in life. Dad left the kids? No problemo. The Eker Hacker version 2 fan club has room for all. 
Join today for the low price of clicking the link in the description. We have a bunch of things planned over at the Eager Hacker version 2 fan club, including audience participation, banning people for spamming slurs, and much more. So what are you waiting for? Join today and while you're at it, subscribe and maybe also consider becoming a member to get a special role whenever we add that into the Eager Hacker version 2 fan club. You even get the raw cuts with everything in it that isn't in the actual final video. Isn't that awesome? Now back to your regularly scheduled content. Oh, for fuck's sake. This one is not very poggers. Though this is rated as a hard demon, only fake gamers agree with that. The Mask Medium Demon has no standout parts, but thankfully it also doesn't have a lot of awful parts. You can smell the age on the gameplay. But besides that, the entire level has some solid gameplay. For some reason, this level has a pre-drop that lasts all of the fucking middle ages. Look at that shit. I'm still in the pre-drop and we're over halfway in. There's a reason people don't do this in most levels, mostly because it's really fucking annoying. Deep Fright Circles goes into the D tier. Wow, what a mediocre level. Ah, yet another Circles, of course. Besides it looking like Circulatum, another Circles is a level that I really like, contrary to what most Sand Eaters think of it. There really aren't a lot of nice Circles levels I enjoyed more than this mess with, you know, the ship part of all time. This one, what the hell happened here? This is one of those levels where despite being able to see the flaws very clearly, I still just really like it. I enjoyed playing this a lot. In comparison to a lot of the other nice Circles levels that are outstanding around this time. This one actually looks unique. C tier. That is probably my wackest take so far. Thankfully, you can always get more whack. Quasar is one of the best looking Nine Circles levels for the time it was released. Maybe even the best looking. This level looked great. Compared to the others that were released around the same time, this level looks futuristic and artsy, which is not something I can say about Circulatum. Where my issues come in, however, is the gameplay, which I was not a fan of at all. Not, not even close, in fact. I hated pretty much everything about the gameplay, but just the duels in particular are so annoying. Why are they in here? Just, why? It doesn't have to be a dual part, an asymmetrical dual part in a 9 circle level. So yeah, playing this is something I would really not recommend. C tier. Oh god, why? Oh please, don't make me bring this shit up again. Oh my god, why? Why do I have to talk about this level so many f times? The wet fart we are looking at is known as Paracosm 12. It is very much not good. The pre-drop is f***ing impossible, the wave is an easy demon. Plus it's not like this level looks the par either, it just looks like shit. It's... it's... Ugh. It's purple nice circles 12. F tier without question. Last but certainly not least. I mean, of course, how could it be worse than Paracosm 12? Having never been to a mustard squirting competition, this level doesn't do a lot for me. Though the contrast of the bright yellow flatworms that infest the screen in a darker, more subtle background is very well executed, I still just don't like how this level looks that much. The gameplay is just not anywhere close to enjoyable to me. Plus, the entire piece feels very tacky and poorly put together in many places, such as the effects used in the wave sections. And not in this one for some reason. Above all else though, I just don't like how this level looks, despite it straying as far as possible from the generic nice circles design. Black Light is not only impossible to create, it is also not very enjoyable and an unbelievable mess. D tier, just because I'm feeling nice today. What a mess. A mixed bunch as per usual, but at least we have some more to look forward to, but that's for next time.